To succeed in improving our education system and overcoming years of neglect, we must make sure that we have great teachers in our classrooms, in every classroom. But as everyone in this room knows, Illinois faces a dire shortage of teachers and paraprofessionals at every grade level all across our state. Last school year, over 4,000 jobs in schools, including nearly 1,500 teaching positions, went unfilled statewide. These are the people who serve as the entry point for our kids to learn about the world. It's on all of us to show them that we value them and that we want them to be able to earn a good living in their communities. That work starts with taking a hard look at the salaries being offered to our teachers and making sure that they're competitive in today's job market. Right now, our statutory annual minimum for teachers is $10,000, established many years ago. That outdated baseline allows many positions, particularly in rural communities, to be shortchanged. And when we're missing out on quality, dedicated educators who can't afford to take these jobs, it's our kids who pay the price. In signing this legislation, we're addressing our teacher shortage and gradually putting teachers on track to make at least $40,000 a year by the first day of school in 2023. Thank you. Um, it's so nice to have someone in this office who gets it, who understands that those adults in the room with those children are the most important piece of that education puzzle. Uh, I had a, a long 20 plus year career in classrooms, everywhere from middle school uh, all the way through university teaching mathematics. Uh, and I get frustrated being told all the time, teachers are important, teachers are important, they're so important, I value my kids' teachers. But when it came down to making sure that those teachers in the room can afford to do that job, that's where we frequently fell short. So I was so happy to sponsor this legislation. I was happy to uh, be a co-sponsor of it last time and disappointed in the veto uh, by Governor Rauner. Uh, it was a no-brainer to, to bring it back because I knew that we would have the support uh, in our champion, um, Governor Pritzker. Um, I, I think this is vitally important. In addition to being in front of the classroom, I also work to train our student teachers. So those young people going to our universities uh, with the intention of becoming mathematics educators in the future. And our numbers at SIU Edwardsville and across the state were dwindling. And it's impossible to not realize a lot of that is due to the salaries. They look at this career that they've wanted to do for their whole lives. They grew up knowing they wanted to be an educator, and they, the reality of it was it was not going to be affordable. Well, you heard me talk about the fact that we did a good job in our budget of funding schools, that we, in fact, put in the not only the required amount for the evidence-based funding model, but we actually went over and above that. And it's very important that we continue on that path. And as a result of that, we will be able to make sure that we're funding in those school districts where this $40,000 uh, minimum will be effective over the next 20, uh, sorry, until 2023. Um, the funding of the evidence-based funding model will take care of the issues or, or challenges that may exist.